This is the day the Lord has made Father, I'm ready to hear what you tell me Morning by morning, the Lord of the worship Giving you glory all of my days Oh, 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 oh Morning by morning, all of my days Strong and fearful, storms can never stand Before you, oh my God How great you are, oh Lord, how great you are And all mountains, great or small Strong and fearful, stubs can never stand before you, oh my God. How great you are, oh Lord, how great you are. And oh, mountains, great or oh, Strong and fearful, storms can never stand before you, oh my God. How great you are, oh Lord, how great you are. How great you are, oh Lord, how great you are. Name my worthy of our praise, and my heart will sing how great is our God, Father. Savior, you're the name above all names. You are worthy of our praise, and my heart will sing how great is our God. Ah. Uh -huh. 
Father, you reign. Hallelujah. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. You're welcome to Morning by Morning. God bless you abundantly. Let's lift up our hands and give Jesus praise. Father, we thank you for a blessed day. Thank you because this day you're giving us our daily bread. Thank you, Father, because what needs to be head will be set this morning. Burdens will be lifted, yokes will be destroyed. In Jesus' precious name, amen. Genesis chapter 4, verse 25 is where we are as we begin to uh, gradually wrap up our expositions of Genesis 4. Verse 25 says, And Adam knew his wife again. Please note that. Adam knew his wife again. And she bore a son and named him Seth. For God had appointed another seed for me instead of Abel, whom Cain killed. May the Lord bless the reading of his word. I want to use for a title this morning, and it's a mandate message from God. I'm saying to you this morning, try again. Try again. Try again. Now, in Genesis 4 verse 25, we see that Adam had gone through one of the most harrowing experiences in life. Adam and Eve had gone through the loss of a child. But this was not just the loss of a child. This was the loss of a child by another child. Cain murdered Abel. And you can imagine the psychological pain that they were in. They gave birth to two children and one chose to kill the other. And what I noticed in this scripture is that they did not allow that disappointing experience to stop them. Adam knew his wife again. And she bore a son and named him Seth. For God has appointed another seed for me instead of Abel, whom Cain killed or slew. As I was praying about this, I felt the Lord say to me, there are many people who have allowed a disappointment and their dispensations in life. There are people all in the sound of my voice as I speak to you. A man jilted you and you came to a point of resolution that you'll be a lesbian and that it will never happen to you again. There are people here who failed in marriage. A marriage didn't work out and they vowed and said, I will never get married again. There are people here who have gone through difficult experiences in life and they came out of those experiences totally shutting themselves down, not taking a chance in that area again. It is to you that I've been sent this morning. And God is saying to you, try again. Try again. Try to get married again. Try to fall in love again. Try to start that ministry again. Never let a disappointment be the last chapter of an experience in your life. I remember several years ago, I think uh, the first year we came to plant the church in Lagos, as we were planting the Lagos, Dr. Sean, uh, my wife, had a miscarriage. We had two children at that time, uh, a boy and a girl, and we were, for a while we were not sure whether we wanted to have a third. And then at some point, we now uh, found that we were pregnant. It wasn't really intentional, but we found out my wife was pregnant. And um, so at an advanced stage, my wife lost that pregnancy. And we could have allowed that disappointment and that pain. It was a very painful time for us as a family and for me as an individual. We could have allowed that disappointment 
end the chapter of our life. But I called my wife and I said to my wife, even if we did not want to have a third child before, I said, because of this miscarriage, we will have a third child. Now I want to have a third child. And we went at it again, tried again, and God gave us a very beautiful daughter. Mercy Olabode, phenomenal girl, you know. Today I can think about what if we did, what we, what would, what would we ended the chapter of childbirth with the disappointment of that miscarriage. I'm saying to you from message from God, there is life after your disappointment. Try again. Try again. This is a mandate. Let me explain why. If you let that disappointment end the chapter of your experience, the enemy has won. If you don't marry again, that man who jilted you has won. If you don't fall in love again, that girl who jilted you has won. If you don't try to fulfill the calling, then the enemy has won. And you must never allow the enemy have the last say. And I'm saying this morning to every member of the enthronement nation, and everybody who will hear this message, do not let a disappointment end the chapter of an experience in your life. Try again. Try to get married again. Try to fall in love again. Try to walk in the mystery again. Try to plant that church again. Do you know they say in entrepreneurship that on the average, most of the greatest entrepreneurs failed on the average about eight to nine times before they got to their sweet spot, the business that made it work. What if they gave up the first gave, gave up the first time? What if they give up the second time? Let me say there's somebody that you give up too soon. Once it gets too tough, you just uh, I, I can't try this again. I'm saying to you, try again. Try again. Try again. I know you've lost Abel, but try again. If you try again, God will bless you with a set. And I'll get there, and Seth will give birth to Enoch. And in the days of Enoch, men began to call on the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. So I'm saying to you this morning, try again. Try again. In 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 45, it says, So it is written, the first man, Adam, was a living soul. He said, but the last Adam was a life-giving spirit. And there are a lot of people who end their life with the experience of the last, the first Adam. He said, the first Adam was a living soul. And maybe they went through some challenges and all that, but even remember that God, in experimenting with Adam and Eve, it was a failure. But notice that God did not allow the failure of the first Adam, who was a living soul, stop him. He kept on working on it until he gave us the last Adam in the person of Jesus Christ, who was now a life-giving spirit. I'm saying to you, your first Adam was a living soul, but your last Adam will be a life-giving spirit. Don't give up. Don't give up on childbearing. Don't give up on, 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 on attempting to have a child. Don't give up. Don't let the enemy have the last say. There is life after that disappointment. There is hope after that disappointment. There is still what God wants to do. If I don't even let your sin write the last chapter of your life. As I talk about this, I'm reminded of the affair. It was an affair that D David had with Bathsheba that gave birth to that first child. And out of divine judgment, we notice that the first child died, even though he fasted and prayed for it. The child, the child died. And when the child died, the Bible said, David stood up, went to the Lord, worshipped, and he went back to his wife and gave birth to Jedidiah. And the Jediah means beloved of the Lord. And from that same place of disappointment, 
appointment, something great happened. The wisest king. In fact, when he gave birth, to tell you how gracious and how good God is, when he gave birth to Jedidiah, God sent the prophet Nathan, I think, to give him a name. God called him Jedidiah. The fact that you have sinned and you have made a mistake does not mean God cannot find out something, do something beloved out of your mistakes and out of your mishap and out of your error. Against the backdrop of your mess, a mighty message can end your marriage. And I'm saying to you, try again. Okay, what if Abraham had, what if David had just said, okay, 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 God is not happy about this relationship and all that, and I'm not going to do anything. He comforted Bathsheba, give him scripture. He went into Bathsheba and they gave birth to Jedediah and God loved Solomon. Hallelujah. His name was Jedediah, beloved of the Lord. And so I'm saying this morning, try again. Don't give up. Don't give up on yourself. Don't give up on men. Don't give up on women. Don't give up on marriage. Recently, we just appointed the resident minister in charge of our church and all that. Well, I've been disappointed in that regard several times, but I'm trying again. We're trying again. I believe that God has someone for that particular office. And the fact that we have been disappointed in that area does not mean we should not take a chance again. Don't let anything happen to you that now backs you up into a corner that makes you not want to take a chance again. I'm saying take a chance again. Try again. Try again. With greater resolve. Apply again. Apply again. The visa did not work. We just went from Australia and all that. We just came back from Australia recently, a few, a few days ago. And our first attempt, let me tell you, let me tell you, be very careful. Don't be limited to the disappointment of your first attempt at anything. Don't be limited to the disappointment of your first attempt at marriage. Don't be limited to the disappointment of your first attempt. If the outcome of your first attempt was a disappointment, I'm saying to you from God, try again. Try again. Try again. Try and do the exam again. Try. Don't let the last chapter of your life be a disappointment or a failure. In Proverbs 24, verse 16, it says, Even a just man falls seven times. He says, and he rises up again, but the wicked shall fall into mischief. What he's saying there, when he's saying seven, seven is the number of perfection. He's saying, even after a perfect fall, you can still rise again. Even after a perfect fall. So don't be speaking in absolute terms about your disappointment. Don't be like, don't be like, uh, 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 I think it was Samson who says, strengthen me this once. No. Don't do that to yourself. Try again. Try again. That's my word to you this morning. Try again. In Joseph 14 verse 7, the Bible says, for there is hope for a tree. Even if it is cut down, that it will sprout again, that its tender shoots will not cease. He says, though its root may grow old in the earth, he says, and its stump may die in the ground, yet at the scent of water, it will board and bring forth branches like a plant. This has happened in one of our churches and all that. We failed in that church, but we tried again. And today we have a church in that particular territory to the grace and the glory of God. Never let a disappointment write the cha last chapter of your life on any area. There is the, the re because the marriage failed is why you will marry again. Try again. And let me tell you, this next attempt, you will succeed at it in the name of the Lord Jesus. And so we see that in spite of the tragedy, in spite of the murder, in spite of the, 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 the problem that happened in that particular family, they chose to have children again. And do you know what happened? Such a, an experience did not happen to them again. Sometimes, after a negative experience, fear has a way of backing us to a corner. Ah, what if I have these children again and it happens again? What if I get married? It doesn't work. It will work this time. Did you notice that their first attempt at, at having children was terrible? But it did not happen that way to them again. I'm saying to you prophetically, if you try again, if you try again, it won't happen again in the name of the Lord Jesus. So this morning I pray for you 
for grace to thrive in. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. In the stead of what you have lost, God will honor you with more. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. So we're going to come back. I'm um, come, come back to bless you and your family. Let's go to prayer. I'll go back to bless you this lost day. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Father, we worship you. Thank you, Jesus, for the privilege of a new day. Thank you, Lord, for the word that is sent to us this morning. We give you all the praise, mighty God. Thank you, Lord Jesus, because the entrance of your word brings light. And we pray in the name of Jesus that your light will permeate every area of darkness in our lives in the name of Jesus. We give you praise, mighty God, for in Jesus' name we have given thanks. Amen. Hallelujah. You're welcome to prayers this morning. This morning, we're going to be taking prayers for our man and woman of God, Reverend DG and Dr. Shem Olabode. And our first scripture is taken from Psalms chapter 92, verse 10. But my horn, you have exalted like a wild ox. I have been anointed with fresh oil. Please say with me this morning, Father, in the name of Jesus, let the oil on the head of Reverend DG and Dr. Shem Olabode remain fresh in the name of Jesus, that their own remain exalted in the name of Jesus. Prayers in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, let the oil on the head of our man and woman of God, Reverend Deja and Dr. Shawala Bode, remain fresh in the name of Jesus and their own remains exalted now in the name of Jesus. Mali, Kepra, Gadalia, Matelia, Gadira, Gabashia, Nagali, Prakosia, Gadalia, in the name of Jesus, let the oil of Reverend Deja and Dr. Shawala Bode remain fresh let their own remain exalted now and forever in the name of Jesus Matikelia Baliko Priya Ganana Gazike Lia Bagari Gombosia Ela Braja Andelia Kabali Ketoria Gadable Kejali Kede Maria Father let the own of your son and daughter Reverend Deja and Dr. Shola Bode remain fresh and let their own remain exalted now and forever in the name of Jesus Makia Palo Koria Gamande Kelia Baru Jali Paragas Gatalia, Enda, Lika, Bria, Gandale, Kereboshia, Laganda, Rabba, Jale, Kerebrozo, Kolia, Batia, Laganda, Braca, Tolia, Kereboja. Father, let the on upon Reverend Deja and Dr. Shewala, but they remain fresh and be exalted in the name of Jesus. Malu, Korea, Pandali, Keria, Balakosia, Gadalia, Enda, Lipra, Gajala, Gadia, Mandore, Keporia, Gazaga, Ragasi, Kepra, Gadia, Nagali, Bragojolia, Gabari, Katia, Nagalia. Father, let the oil on your daughter, son and daughter, Reverend Deja and Dr. Shola Bode, remain fresh. Let their own remain exalted now and forever in the name of Jesus. Makuria, Gabale, Ketia, Nagali, Bragajoni, Kelebroza. Father, we give you praise, my girl. Thank you, Jesus, because the oil of Reverend Deja and Dr. Shola Bode remains ever fresh in the name of Jesus and their own are exalted in the name of Jesus. Father, we give you praise for us prayers. Thank you, Jesus, for in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Our next prayer is from Exodus chapter 17, verse 12. But Moses' hands became heavy, so they took a stone and put it under him, and he sat on it, and Aaron and her supported his hands, one on one side and the other on the other side, and his hands were steady until the going down of the sun. Please say after me, Father, in the name of Jesus, surround them, Reverend Deja and Dr. Shola Bode, with their own Aaron and hers, men and women who will execute the ministry of support in their lives in the name of Jesus. Prayers to the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, surround Reverend Deja and Dr. Shola Bode with their own Aaron and hers, in the name of Jesus, men and women who will execute the ministry of support in their lives now and forever, in the name of Jesus. Malakuri 
Gloria, Batane, Gelia, Baraja, Peri, Gadia, Malaga, Zia, Gatale, Ragaske, Abaruja, Dia, Manare, Keboskia. Father, in the name of Jesus, surround Reverend Deja and Dr. Shola Bode with their own Aaron and hers, men and women who will execute the ministry of support in their lives now and forever. Raka, Palia, Nadira, Barike, Boro, Shokolia, Mandali, Gereboza, Ela, Braga, Zan, Kalia, Baraga, Zipre, Koshondia, Ragaski, Abaluri, Kemanta, Lia, Baruza, in the name of Jesus, surround Reverend Deja and Dr. Shola Bode with their own Aaron and us in the name of Jesus, men and women who will execute the ministry of support in their lives now and forever. Rapalia Gandali Kere Brokotuya Nagali Bragajandia Ragapasia Katale Gere Bozia Ela Braga Zapalia Kantala Gambrege Dia Baluja in the name of Jesus. Surround them, O Lord, with their own Aaron and ours in the name of Jesus. Rakapalia Talike Mari Kapali Goroboskia Dakaria Ragabashia Nagali Kere Boza. Father, raise us, O Lord, to execute the ministry of support in their lives now and forever in the name of Jesus. Mali Koria Gabaskia Gadira Bashan Negelebrozga in the name of Jesus. Father, we give you praise for our sad prayers. Thank you, Lord Jesus, because they're surrounding your son and daughter, Reverend Deja and Dr. Shola, but they with their own errands and ours in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for raising men and women who execute the ministry of support in their lives now and forever in the name of Jesus. Father, we give you praise for our sad prayers. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. We are praying from John chapter 6 verse 6. It says, But this is said to test him, for he himself knew what he would do. We are praying this morning, saying, Father, in the name of Jesus, give Reverend Deja and Dr. Shola Bode a right regard of particular things to be done in the name of Jesus. Prayers in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, give Reverend Deja and Dr. Shola Bode a right regard of particular things to be done in the name of Jesus. Mala Koria Batani Gede Baria Gazana Kalia Baruja Enda Blaga Zupre Ketia Nagali Bragajale Gede Boza at every junction of decisions to be made. Father, give your son and daughter Reverend Deja and Dr. Shola Bode the right regard of particular things to be done, the right steps to take in the name of Jesus, the right calls to make in the name of Jesus. Mali Karia Matuli Agabale Ketia Nagala Garuza Enda Lipra Gajala Gandia Baruza Ela Braga Zaka Priketia Gakalu Pragadia Maneria Bazula Rega Lia Pandara Kabashi and Nagali Gerebosa Father give Reverend Deja and Dr. Shola Bode the right regard of particular things to be done in the name of Jesus. Malo Praga Zia Gatana Gali Paruja Ela Braga Zama Nia Kali Garuba Sia Gandala Ragaje Pregetia Nagali Bragazonia Ela Braga Da Prekesia Gatali Gerebosha in the name of Jesus in this ministry walk, O oh Lord, give them the right regard of particular things to be done in the name of Jesus. Rakolia Patia Nagala Gadira Pashoni Agali Bragazalia Ela Braga Zana Kalia Paruza Indali Keria Matala Gadu Brakoshendi Rebosia in the name of Jesus. Father, we give you praise, my God. Thank you, Lord Jesus, because from this day onward, you are giving your son and daughter, Reverend Deja and Dr. Shola Bode, the right regard of particular things to be done from now and forever in the name of Jesus. Father, we give you praise for answered prayers, for in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. In John chapter 13, verse 27, now after the piece of bread, Satan entered him. Then Jesus said to him, what you do, do quickly. We are saying, Father, in the name of Jesus, expose everyone around Reverend Deja and Dr. Shola Bode who does not have their best interest at us in the name of Jesus. Prayers in the name of Jesus. We are saying, Father, in the name of Jesus, expose everyone around them that does not have their best interest at us in the name of Jesus. Mala, Kuria, Patani, Gelebraga, Zia, Catalia. Expose every snake, every angel of darkness, hiding as angel of light in the name of Jesus. Expose every enemy person as friends, as sons or daughters in the name of Jesus. Mala, Kudia, Banani, Keria, Balaga, Zia, Catali, Gerebosha, Ela, Braga, Zala, Canturia, Gandali, Pari, Katia, Nagalia, Embali, Kazule, Kerebari, Catalia, Gandara, Bashuna, Galia, Bazunte, in the name of Jesus. Expose 
every so anyone posing as a friend or as sons and daughters who are their enemies in the name of Jesus. Mala kuria patani ke debari kazala kandeya gaduria mali praka supre ke jele ke debari kandala garuza. Everyone around them in the name of Jesus that does not have their best interest at heart. Lord, we pray in the name of Jesus that they are exposed now in the name of Jesus. Mala pro gotalia matege ya gadure kamala gazunta rakalia pandere keria malaga zia katalia ela braga jala gandoria kamali gezolia in the name of Jesus. Everyone that does not have their best interest as us, Lord, we pray that you expose them right now in the name of Jesus. Mala koti adakari ge malaga zampere keti adagaria raga jale keria malokuria gazande raga la priketea nagali garabasia in the name of Jesus. Expose in the name of Jesus all friends or sons or daughters are all enemies that are posing as sons and daughters or friends in the name of Jesus. Father, we worship you for answered prayers. Thank you, Jesus, because everyone around them that does not have their best interest as us is exposed now in the name of Jesus. Father, we give you praise, mighty God, for in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Our next prayer is from Jude chapter 1 verse 24. Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. We are saying, Father, in the name of Jesus, keep them from falling, present them faultless, and let their marriage serve as godly example to this generation. In the name of Jesus, I take that prayer again. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, keep Reverend Dej and Dr. Shinwala, but from falling, present them faultless and let their marriage serve as godly example to this generation in the name of Jesus. Prayers in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, keep Reverend Deji and Dr. Shinola Bode from falling, present them faultless, let their marriage serve as a godly example to this generation in the name of Jesus. Mala paria gantale gede bari kazane kelia baruja, e la bari kazama teya kapalia gandale kede Kodia Kadia, Mare Shande, Lekeria Baruza, Father, present Reverend Dej and Dr. Shola, but they faultless in the name of Jesus. Let their marriage stand as godly example to the generation, to this generation in the name of Jesus. Mala Proza, Kandia, Lagiria, Matale, Gedabosia, Ela Braga, Jale, Gedabosia, Father, keep them from falling in the name of Jesus. Mala Kuria, Gamanike, Yagazuli, Kedabasia, Gatalia, Enda Braga, Jala, Kandia, Kuria, Gazala, Ragabasia, Katale, Gedebari, Katolia, Ganderia, in the name of Jesus, present them faultless, Lord. Let their marriage serve as a godly example to this generation, in the name of Jesus. Mala, Kuria, Matelia, Gandale, Gedeboshia, in the name of Jesus. Father, we worship you. Thank you, Lord, for answered prayers. Thank you, Lord, because I keep your reverend Dej and Dr. Shola, but from falling or failing, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, because I presented them faultless and their marriage serves as a godly example to this generation now and forever in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Our next prayer is taken from Acts chapter 4, verse 36 to 37. And Joseph, who was also named Barnabas by the apostles, which is translated son of encouragement, a Levite of the country of Cyprus, having land, sold it and brought the money and laid it at the apostles' feet. We are saying this morning, Father, in the name of Jesus, raise up mighty sons and daughters of encouragement for them home and abroad in the name of Jesus. Prayers in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, raise up mighty sons and daughters of encouragement for Reverend Dejan Dr. Shalapote from home and abroad in the name of Jesus. Father, raise up mighty sons and daughters of encouragement for Reverend Dejan Dr. Shalapote home and abroad in the name of Jesus. Make us all our sons and daughters of encouragement 
encouragement to them now and forever in the name of Jesus mala braga zapalia katale gedebari kandolia gazaga ya katia da kuria matale gedeboria lipra handa ya kamani kelia baruza ela braga jale kedia balaka zure ke palia fara make us sons and daughters of encouragement to reverend Dejan dr shola bode in the name of Jesus rapa luko dia matala gandera kabalia ela braga zapalia kantale gedebroza ya katia na bari ketolia gandala rakasuria kamale ke riko solia la braja in the name of Jesus raise up for them sons and daughters of encouragement from home and abroad in the name of Jesus mali paruza kandia la kuri ketia la ganda raga jali ke reboros kotia la gari mantolia in the name of Jesus father we give you praise my sigal thank you lord because you are raising forever and dejan dr shola but the mighty sons and daughters of encouragement for them home and abroad in the name of Jesus hallelujah we give you praise my sigal for in jesus name we have prayed amen Our next prayer is from 2 Corinthians chapter 12 verse 9 and he said to me my grace is sufficient for you for my strength is made perfect in weakness therefore most gladly i will rather boast in my infirmities that the power of Christ may rest upon me we are saying this morning father in the name of Jesus have mercy on reverend dejan dr shola bede oh lord let your grace be sufficient for them let your strength be made perfect in their weaknesses in the name of Jesus prayers in the name of Jesus father in the name of Jesus have mercy on them oh lord let your grace be sufficient for them oh lord let your strength be made perfect in their weaknesses in the name of Jesus mala braga zapre kesholia mandelia kamala gazuria ela bari kantale gedebosha have mercy on reverend dejan dr shola but they oh lord let your grace be sufficient for them in the name of Jesus let your strength be made perfect in their weaknesses in the name of Jesus rakalia mandole ke de barika dania gali parasha ndia lakuzia father have mercy on them oh lord in the name of Jesus let your grace be sufficient for them let your strength be made perfect in their weaknesses in the name of Jesus father we pray this morning have mercy on reverend deja and dr shola but they oh lord let your grace be sufficient for them let your strength be made perfect in their weaknesses in the name of Jesus mala praga zapa nia na nia kandali ke deboshia ela brianda na kazule ke ria malaga zia gatalia father have mercy on them oh lord let your grace be sufficient for them let your strength be made perfect in their weaknesses in the name of Jesus mali pariko tuya gandaba lasha ndia lagaria ela gadia baruje kelia marazga ya kabi ya gado prekejelia mandolia kazaga lia barusha have mercy on them oh lord. Lord, let your grace be sufficient for them let your strength be made perfect in their weaknesses in the name of Jesus father we give you praise my sigal thank you lord jesus because of our reverend dejan dr shola bode they are enjoying your mercy your grace is sufficient for them your strength is made perfect in their weaknesses in the name of jesus we give you praise for our prayers for in jesus name we have prayed amen our next prayer is from 1 samuel chapter 2 verse 35 then I will raise up for myself a faithful priest who shall do according to what is in my heart and in my mind I will build him a sure house and he shall walk before my anointed forever we are saying this morning with one voice father in the name of Jesus make them a faithful priest that will do what is in your heart in your mind and in your heart build for them a sure house in the name of Jesus I take that prayer again say father in the name of Jesus, Jesus make Reverend Dejan Dr. Shola Bode a faithful priest that will do what is in your mind and in your heart build for them a sure house in the name of Jesus prayers in the name of Jesus manda blood ya balio koria gabaze kea gandale garabosia father make Reverend Deji and Dr. Shola Bode a faithful priest that will do what is in your mind and in your heart and you build for them a sure house in the name of Jesus 
Mala, Braga, Zia, Pandoni, Agali, Pariga, Zia, Gatali, Gerebosha. Let the scripture be fulfilled in their lives in the name of Jesus. Mala, Kuria, Matali, Gerebarika, Zambalia, Katalia, Ela, Gara, Gamasia, Gadale, Gereboshia. In the name of Jesus. Malo, Priya, Gamala, Katuria, Ganana, Garuza, Ela, Braga, Zakalia, Patuya, Nagolia, Baruja, Embarika, Zia, Gadale, Gerebosha. Father, make them a faithful priest that will do what is in your mind and in your heart, O oh Lord, build for them a sure house in the name of Jesus. Masike ya kabroga na malia gandola karuza ela braga zapania na kira gabaskia elaria mandali kerebaskia daruba shalia regalia banana gazulia kadeli kerebosha in the name of Jesus. Father, we give you praise for answered prayers. Thank you, Jesus, because you are making Reverend and Dr. Shola Bode a faithful priest that will do what is in your mind and in your heart and you are building for them a sure house in the name of Jesus. Father, we give you praise for answered prayers. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Our next prayer is from Ruth chapter 4 verse 15. And may he be to you a restorer of life and a nourisher of your old age for your daughter-in-law who loves you, who is better to you than, ten, than seven sons as born in. We are saying, Father, in the name of Jesus, Make Reverend Deji and Dr. Shewola Bode a restorer of their father's life, a nourisher of their father's old age, a son better than seven sons in the name of Jesus. Prayers in the name of Jesus. Make Reverend Deji Olabode and Dr. Shewola Bode a restorer of their father's life, a nourisher of their father's old age, and a son better than seven sons in the name of Jesus. Mala Poria, Katana, Galibra, Gazani, Kerebosia, Raga, Jale, Malia Gandabra Gazia Kambali Gedebosia. Father, make them, O oh Lord, a restorer of their father's life, a nourisher of their father's old age, a son better than seven sons in the name of Jesus. Mala Kuria Matia Gandamali Kadia Malo Kuria Gazala Raga Jalek in Nebraga Dia Naruza Yakayaga Braga Dia Maruja in the name of Jesus. Father, make them a restorer of their father's life, a nourisher of their father's old age, and a son better than seven sons sons in the name of Jesus. Father, we give you praise, mighty God. Thank you, Lord, for answered prayers. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Our next prayer is from Ephesians chapter 6, verse 19. And for me, that utterance may be given to me, that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel. Please say with me, Father, in the name of Jesus, give Reverend Deja and Dr. Sholabo the boldness and utterance to declare the mind of God every time they stand to minister in the name of Jesus. Prayers in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, give them boldness and utterance to declare the mind of God every time they stand to minister in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, give them boldness and utterance to declare the mind of God every time they stand to minister in the name of Jesus Mala Kuria Batali Genebari Kazalia Kambalia Re Katalia Mandani Keria Bagosia Katalia Father give them boldness and utterance to declare the mind of God every time they stand to minister in the name of Jesus Mala Kuria Mataga Diaba Lakazuni Keliaba Ruja Ela Braga Zangandia La Kuria Gazaga Yakalia Matali de Brokotia Nagalia Gadura Male Koria Gazalia Gandalia Father give them boldness and utterance to declare the mind of God every time they stand to minister in the name of Jesus thank you Jesus because they are, they are giving boldness and utterance to declare your mind every time they stand to minister in the name of Jesus thank you Jesus for answered prayers for in Jesus name we have prayed Amen our next prayer is from Isaiah chapter 55, verse 3. And I will make an everlasting covenant with you, the sure mercies of David. We are saying this morning, Father, in the name of Jesus, let your mercy abound towards Reverend Deja and his entire family in the name of Jesus. Prayers in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, let your mercies abound towards Reverend Deja and his entire family in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, let your 
your mercies abound towards Reverend Dejalabadi and his entire family in the name of Jesus. Mala Pori Agatani Gedebari Katali Agambali Agazuna Rekalia Malaka Zia Gadali Agaruja. Lord, let your mercies abound towards Reverend Dejalabadi and his entire family in the name of Jesus. Rapali Amatali Gedebari Katoli Agandali Gedabaskia Regalia Mandoli Keria Kabala Gazandia. Father, let your mercies abound towards Reverend Dejalabadi and his entire family now and forever in the name of Jesus. Male Koria Balia Manani Kereboshia Le Garia Masaga Dia Balaga Rika Zia Gandalia Rega Zama La Kuria Katali Gedebosha in the name of Jesus. Let your mercies abound towards Reverend Dejalabadi and his entire family in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you because your mercies abound towards Reverend Dejalabadi and his entire family in the name of Jesus. We give you praise for answered prayers. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. Our next prayer is from James chapter 4 verse 7. Therefore submit to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. We are saying this morning, Father, in the name of Jesus, regarding their lives, we take authority over Satan in the name of Jesus. Prayers in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, regarding Reverend Dejanola, Dr. Shola, but there's lives, we take authority over Satan in the name of Jesus. Mala proza mane geriyama la kuzia kadia baruja. E la braga manda ria kabali ketoya lagaria. E la braga zia bandolia kadele kereboshia. In the name of Jesus concerned regarding their lives, we take authority over Satan now in the name of Jesus. Mando bria zabala gandolia kanim braga zali kereboshia. In the name of Jesus. Rabba lia pandoli kereboshia da kalia maruja. He le karia kabala kandolia baruja lia mandalia. He la bari kasanda la karia gabora shandia la gozia. In the name of Jesus, regarding their lives, we take authority over Satan. Now in the name of Jesus. Father, we give you praise, mighty God. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for answered prayers. For in Jesus' name, we have prayed. Hallelujah. We are taking this final prayer from Psalms chapter 127, verse 4 to 5. Like arrows in the hand of a warrior, so are the children of one's youth. Happy is the man who has a skewer full of them. They shall not be ashamed, but shall speak with their enemies in the gate. Please say after me, Father, in the name of Jesus, we decree and declare that the sons of Reverend Dejolabode begin to rise at the gates for his defense in the name of Jesus and is always represented whenever and wherever the needs arise. Prayers in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, we decree and declare that the sons of Reverend Dejolabode begin to rise at the gates for his defense and he is always represented whenever and wherever the needs arise in the name of Jesus. Mala Praga Zampre, Kea Gadali, Kamari Gazalia, Gambali, Kezoria, Ragazali, Kedebari, Katalia, Mandali, Kedeboskia. Father, raise up sons for Reverend Dijalabadi at the gates in the name of Jesus. Let it have re representation whenever, wherever the needs arises in the name of Jesus. Raise up sons globally for him at the gates in the name of Jesus. Mala, Kuria, Badani, Kedebaria, Kasande, Kedebosia, Ela, Garia, Mandala, Kasuya, Gandebra, Gazali, Kedebosia. In the name of Jesus. Father, we give you praise for our prayers. Thank you, Lord Jesus, because sons begin to rise at the gates for Reverend Dijalaba, therefore, his defense and is always represented whenever and wherever the need arises. In the name of Jesus. Father, we give you praise for our prayers. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Because we receive answers to all our prayers now in the name of Jesus. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. It is time to take your personal petitions before the Lord in prayer for a minute.
for in Jesus name we have prayed amen hallelujah believe receive all answers to our prayers now because god is a prayer answering god hallelujah we're going to be taking confession for the pastorate we are saying father god we thank you that the pastorate is filled with the knowledge with the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of you they are fulfilling your perfect purpose and plan for their lives. They hear the voice of the good shepherd and the voice of a stranger they will not follow. We confess and declare that the spirits of wisdom, knowledge, counsel, might, and understanding will guide them in every meeting, activity, and conversation they engage in. We thank you because they give themselves continually to prayer and to the ministry of the word. We thank you that they are protected from all hurts, harm, danger, and accidents. They are the redeemed of the Lord and in covenant with Jehovah God. Therefore, sickness and disease, poverty and lack, fear, and oppression have no power over them in the name of Jesus. We believe it, receive it. It is a reality. We say to our angels, go to the north, to the south, to the east and west and cause accurate manifestation of every word we have confessed and reconciled answers to us by the blood of Jesus now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Please stay back for our senior pastor's blessings. Lord, we thank you. All of the glory is yours, all of the honor, all of the praise is yours. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. As you go this morning, I give you Proverbs chapter 24 and verse 16. The just man falls seven times and rise up again, but wicked shall fall into mischief. I pray for you this morning. Stretch your hands towards the screen. I give you courage to try again. In the name of Jesus. In every area where failure has backed you to a corner. In the same place. In the same area where you failed. In the same area where you fell. In the same area where you made a mistake. I release grace upon you. To succeed in that area. In the name of Jesus. I pray for every member of the incrimination. Everyone hearing me right now. In the name of Jesus. Let there be an infusion of courage. Yes you fell. Get up and try again. Get up and try again. Yes you feel. Get up and try again. In the name of the Lord Jesus. And I pray for you that this time you will succeed. It will be a colossal success. It will be a colossal success. This more, this in this this next attempt, listen to me. You will be so successful that your success will wipe out the record of your past failure. In the name of Jesus, I pray for every member of this church challenged in one area. Maybe you missed it in marriage, you missed it in relationship. In the name of Jesus, my God will now reward you with something better, with something bigger. In the name of the last was a living soul. This one will be a life-giving spirit. In the name of Jesus, don't let failure back you to a corner. You are the child or the daughter of a king. You are the son of a king. Get at it again. Get at it again. Go for it again. Apply again. Write the exam again. Go for it again. Get married again. And I pray that this one will work and it will compensate for all the heartaches you have ever had. So shall it be. This word will not fall to the ground. In Jesus' precious name. Failure will not write the last chapter of your life, of your marriage, of your ministry, of your finance, of your business. I'm saying in spite of the challenges, in spite of the failure, go for it again. And my God will honor you. In Jesus' precious name. God bless you. And have a wonderful day. Ahead of you. It is not everybody that starts career that gets to the top. If 100 people start career the same day, maybe three of them can get to the top. 
And where does it start? It's not my father's work. I cannot kill myself. Not until you are ready to die for what you are doing. You are not likely to live by it. Hmm? If 100 people start career today, maybe one of them will become a CEO. There are some positions you can never get to in life unless you are recommended. Competence does not work at the top. Oh. I'm not saying you should not be competent. Oh. In fact, before you, before you have good relationships, you've been competent. But your competence can only take you to middle, middle management position in career. It is your relationships that will take you above. Guess who will be at the Graduate Fellowship this Thursday? A comedian, master compare, musician, entertainer, and entrepreneur. It's none other than the multi-talented Honey Tongue. Join us at the Enthronement Assembly Graduate Fellowship this Thursday, 24th October 2024 at 5 p.m. at the SEPTA Convention Center. The theme of this evening is developing and deploying your talent. If you're ready to discover how to unlock your God-given abilities and use them for success, this is the place to be. Mark your calendars, invite your friends, and be prepared for a perspective-changing experience. See you there. Do you sometimes feel lost in the midst of so many faces in church? Do you know you can belong to a smaller group where you can fellowship, network, and bond with brothers and sisters? Join a love circle home close to you holds every Saturday by 5 p.m. across various homes in the city. It is a time of fellowship, fun, and feasting. Don't be left out. Join a love circle today. For more information on Love Circle Homes closest to you, send a WhatsApp message to 0815-438-7563 or 0806-891-4989.